I want to check out, see if they left a whole bunch of stuff in the fridge, because that's something else I've noticed people do. This is disgusting. Oh, it stinks. That's, this is bad. Oh my god. You freaking kidding me? Today I'm bringing you uh, something I'm gonna call, uh, so you want to be a landlord. You guys can see here, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of property. Now this is a, probably about a million dollar house. So this is a beautiful house. You guys can see how big it is. They have an add-on, the little office there. Uh, looks like the house goes pretty far back. Plus there's a barn, two barns. There's another barn behind that barn I'll show you. There's a silo. This place even has a basketball court. So you guys can see the basketball court's not in the best condition now. Uh, I'm not sure how long for exactly these guys were living here. But I know uh, the one person was a, a nurse, an ER nurse, I believe. Uh, and I, I have no idea how they can leave a property like this. This is this house is beautiful. I would I would kill for a house like this. But <laughs> You guys can see this basketball hoop has been shattered and all the glass has been left here. Just gonna let you take that in for a second. So this place, this property is just beautiful. Uh, the wind, <coughs> the wind blowing, the sun shining, the blue skies. This would be a great place to wake up in the morning and, you know, go about your daily routines. I, I know I would love something like this. There's a three car garage, um, but I'm going to take you inside real quick to see, to show you. And I'll show you some more of the outside property here. But let me just go in here. I uh, want to take you up on this really nice front porch they got. I'm going to show you the outside before I show you the inside. This is a really nice little front patio area. Really nice, beautiful stones. Uh, they could use a little bit of a pressure wash. You guys can see some of the sidings junked up. They really didn't take much care there. Again, beautiful window here. Uh, uh, I'll have to see that from the inside. Another really nice window over there. A little porthole window. Again, the siding's pretty dirty. You guys can see it. there's a, a pile of trash or junk back there. I, I can't wait to get back there and see what that is. But you see this beautiful tree line? Like, the, if these trees grow out, you got a nice, you got nice privacy from the field. Uh, you got plenty of space to do anything you want. You could run a business out here. You could... Uh, you can live, you can make your whole family live out here. I mean, this is something you can turn into a compound and make your whole family live out here. So, uh, it's, I just can't believe somebody could, you know, trash this place like they have. Some more trash just piled up over here. There's a Chipotle container. I recognize that. <laughs> and I'm not really sure. I'm not a, I, I have a house and I'm trying to get better at like working on it. Um, but. I'm not, so I'm not really super familiar, but I'm not really sure this insulation should be here. It's probably to prevent it from freezing in the winter or whatever, but it looks pretty junky. It's like half falling off there. You got some, anybody who uh, has kids or if, uh, like me, you collected when you were younger, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card on the ground right here. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I recognize that because it was one of my favorite pastimes as a child. <laughs> but again, just the trash that left laying around coming down a hill here you guys can see there's plenty of parking space so you have plenty of uh space for vehicles there's a little roundabout back here it's a really long driveway so you got privacy this is out in the uh not in the middle of nowhere it's not far from uh the local walmart probably about five or six minutes but it's in the, it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere so you get all the privacy in the world and i'm sure it's off septic but uh the the owner actually had just put in a really, really, really nice septic uh, system. They own a septic business, so they probably got top of the line, and uh, you probably don't have to worry about it. But let me just kind of show you. So that's the driveway. You guys can see it goes pretty far down there. You can, can't even hear the road from here. I hear a couple cars zooming by, but uh, I don't even think that's the road. I think that's the highway I hear. But like I said, plenty of beautiful field here. Now this is this is nothing compared to the inside. So I'm gonna take you in here. So this was the office area. Um, the people have officially moved out. As of this morning, they're no longer here. They can't come back. Their stuff. They got everything they're gonna get out of here. But 
it doesn't look like they got everything. <laughs> so they got they left all this stuff. Uh, there's hats, book bags. Uh, some of the stuff might actually be worth pretty good money if it was taken care of. Kind of a little bit spooky when you're in an empty house like this and all the stuff's just dis disarray. So this is a, a really, really nice office area. Somebody could operate a business out of their house and at the end of the day just go right through the store and go back home. They run everything right out of this little office area, keep people separate and away from their home. I did want to take you guys over here real quick. So that's pretty disgusting. Um, I would, I would think they probably had a turtle or fish or some kind of aquatic life in here because there's sand, water, a filter system, but oh my god, it's, that's disgusting. Like they just left that here for the owners and the people who left, who own, like, own the property. They just abandoned that. That's disgusting. Why would you do that? And again, I want to remind you, this is a nurse or a doctor. Somebody in the medical field who you would, wouldn't think would do something like this. So I'm just gonna take you upstairs now. Now I have not been through this house yet. Uh, I've peeked in the door, but I've never been all the way through. So you guys are gonna see what I'm seeing for the first time as well. So looks to me like it was a animal cage of some kind, maybe a rabbit cage or something. Uh, again, the wood chips are just left in there. Um, all this junk left on top of it. And I say junk, some of it may be worth like some money. I mean, look, there's a little Harley Davidson Santa here. Uh, that might be worth something. But uh, the stuff that they just abandoned, left behind, I think that's an old, I think that's a light. Yeah, that's one of those lights you would put over a pool table. They left a light like that here. Not really sure what those are, but those look Probably collectible of some kind. Some McDonald's cups from uh, when I was a child, probably. So those are probably pretty old, worth some money. Oh, that's pretty creepy over there. You got a really creepy baby stroller. <laughs> oh man, even creepier. Oh no. <laughs> a pretty creepy baby here. Now I'm not sure, there's a couple Kiko auction tags in here. So they might've been people who went to auctions and picked up a bunch of stuff. But still, why would you leave it behind for somebody else to deal with? Like, that's just, it's trashy. It's disgusting, and it's, uh, quite, honestly, it's embarrassing. If you're going to do this to somebody's house, you should just not have a house. Um, and it, it amount, amazes me. Like, I, I, could ne I don't think I could afford this. Uh, I mean, I, maybe if I won the lottery or something, but I couldn't afford this. How could somebody who could afford this take care of this so crappily? We're gonna go through this door. One door at a time, guys. Thought that was a giant snake <laughs> for a split second. So it's a little dark in here, so bear with me, but uh, you guys can see a more, again, more junk left behind. There's a whole treadmill here. Oh, it looks like they could afford a 50 inch TV. Uh, 4k TV, but they couldn't afford to fix up their house again There's some stuff that's, that might even be worth some money Some baseball stuff here. I see some Pokemon cards on the ground um, Pokemon's a big thing. That's probably worth some money uh, more old toys uh, I think that's an old-school Tonka truck there which the, any metal old toys like that could be worth money as well People collect that stuff like it's nothing and let's see what's over here. Here's another room. There's flies buzz around my head so this looks like a little utility cupboard or closet or something. <laughs> there's a there's a sign back there from somebody's birthday party. And actually, I believe that might even be the owner's family. It might not even be the people who were living here. So I uh, came back to this opening here. Sorry, if it, I just kind of jumped through from a room, from one spot in a room to another. I kind of paused because of this gimbal uh, is being funny and it just makes it so you guys don't get motion sickness when I'm moving. It's like a tripod. But you guys can see this is a pretty creepy uh, Barbie doll here just kind of laying in the middle of the room. That's kind of sad for whoever's little girl let, had to leave that behind. So uh, <clears throat> yeah I believe there's a leak that was coming up through uh, where the washer and dryer were up there and it was coming all the way down here going all the way through the floor and stuff. 
Um, so I'm sure that was a lovely cleanup. So we'll come through here. So it looks like there's a couple sets of stairs. So this must be the garage area then. So again, this is another nice area. You got a really nice, uh, I don't know if you could fit a third car right here, but you got two car garage right there. They even left some <laughs> a case of water. So we got some car seats over here. Anybody uh, with kids will know how much that stuff can get. Some other junk over here. Some more junk over here. I have a couple of balls floating in the drain over here. <laughs> a license plate left behind. So they really left a whole bunch of stuff. There's like a bobsled or something over there. Looks like these were probably some way to prevent the cars from bumping into these. Kind of a good idea when you have a basement garage. So uh, again, you guys can see there's actually two steps to the basement. So this, this is steps actually from the garage, uh, but it also connects to the basement here. So you go from the garage through the basement and you can either go upstairs or <clears throat> through there or you can go upstairs through here. We're gonna go through here so we get every angle. See, they left a bunch of cardboard and trash. And when you're a landlord, you kind of expect this when people move out of your house. Unfortunately, you have to expect the worst of people. So this looks like a little washroom. This is actually pretty nice. There's like a a, shell, a counter here, countertop. Some more trash. <laughs> uh, you got a little sink here, Co more cupboards and s storage space. Do you imagine having a, like a Thanksgiving dinner here or something? This is like plenty of space, everything you could ask for. Um, so this is where the leak is. You got, leak was. You guys can see over here. Let me try to get through the trash to get to it. See where that leaked all the way down and messed up the boards there. So <clears throat> who knows how much damage that really caused. Plus you'll, you can see what we're going to have to do here. Probably replace those. Uh, or at least re reface them. And this is disgusting. I mean, everybody gets flies, I understand. But uh, there are still flies flying around me as I talk. And that's a, there's thousands of flies on that strip right there. I'm not really sure how long that's been there either. Oh, and they had a cat, which nothing against cats. But um, every house I've seen somebody have a cat, I've seen cat pee stains and that's awful. That's That's never fun. So let's keep our fingers crossed we don't see any of that. We can see more of the stuff they left behind. See the nice, what you can look at while you're washing your laundry or whatever. Oh man, I, I just got a peek and I got my breath taken away. So this is where that base, the basement staircase is. To the garage, that is. And here is an absolutely gorgeous kitchen. I mean... I, I only see, I see what you guys see, and this is awesome, I mean, so, this is a really nice stone countertop here, and, oh my god, this is, uh, honestly guys, this is beautiful, <clears throat> you can see how this is easily a million dollar house, I mean, let me show you these cabinets that are right to my left, trying to be careful and not step on anything I don't want to step on, not really sure what's on the ground, there's a lot of trash and junk, so, these are really nice cupboards. Uh, let's see the extent of what's in here. I almost don't want to open too much, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm afraid of what I'll find. So, uh, nothing too scary yet. They've got some plants propagating here. This is actually a really neat little, um, not really sure what that is, but it's growing and they abandoned it. So maybe I'll have to save that, see if I can give that little plant another life. They just abandoned here, it's gonna get left and thrown away anyways. I'm not really sure what that is, but that looks disgusting. There's a container of cheese balls, but, oh. And there's something else nasty over here. Oh man, that is disgusting. I don't know what that is. I don't wanna know. You guys can see there's a potato there. Uh, over here, sorry. Camera wasn't following me. There's a potato here, some peanut butter and honey. Um, just, again, stuff's just left left around. And again, this guys, this place is beautiful. You guys can see this like bench seating here. This is the front door, so people come straight into here. They can sit right on the bench seating, take their shoes off, take their jacket off, you know, whatever. Have a really nice counter area here that they left trash on all over. There's a big Joe chair, uh, so these chairs aren't cheap either. That chair, 
I have a brand new one of those I just got probably about it was probably it cost me about 50 bucks you get it from Walmart for about 40 so I, uh, here's something else I want to show you underneath the sink so that's overwhelming and not fun looking there's a milk jug down there from 2019 tasty so uh, this is ah, oh, oh, oh that's disgusting um, so forgive my reactions but this is disgusting I would not put a dirty dish in here, let alone a clean dish. See all that nasty stuff down there? Ugh. All right, I'm walking away from that. I, I've kind of I've driven past this house many, many times in the last couple months. It's on my daily drive, and I I usually glance down, and I almost never see a car here. So, But guys, look how beautiful this is. I mean, seriously, just imagine washing your dishes and taking in this beautiful sight. I mean, mind you, the window's disgusting because they haven't clean the windows or anything but and there's nice shades so you don't have to be overwhelmed with the sun so there's another fly strip up here um there's some oh my god that wood paneling ceiling is beautiful i i didn't even look up oh my god look at that you got a vent hood over the stove too so you don't have to worry about grease and nasty junk this beautiful staircase i mean that is a huge staircase and we'll go up there here in a little bit uh a huge kitchen or dining room table now this is that's actually a pretty nice table um i've always wanted like a real wood one but this seats plenty of people really nice and this they have a nice little chandelier here too so again the nice wood ceiling this window is beautiful as well let me try to get close to it so you guys can actually see look at that oh my god look at how beautiful that is They left a kid's dart there. They left some display cabinets. This is actually pretty nice. Um, I collect Funkos, so I would love something like that for my Funkos. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. Well, let me tell you what. <laughs> my breath is taken away in this moment. <laughs> this house could has seen better days. This is that window I was talking about from the outside, and oh my god, imagine like being a kid and doing your homework on this little windowsill, or I'm a, I love buying plants, I have at least uh, 10 cactuses and a couple other plants, um, I'm really, I'm, I'm bad at keeping care, taking care of them, um, I mean I water them like they're supposed to, but <laughs> they always die on me. Here, I don't think I, I don't think I could have, I wouldn't have that problem, they would live, they would have such a good life in this window. <laughs> so this is just a loan for anybody plant parents out there this, you guys know what I'm talking about this is a perfect window uh, throw you all your plants on the windowsill put some more shelves in this room this is great and uh, there's some more trash here they're just kind of abandoned the closet here oh so this closet goes to the kitchen and I can't even open it because there's so much junk in front of it so we'll check that out before we go back up, go upstairs. Oh, oh, this is nice. Oh my God, this is nice. So you guys see this nice little, almost like a hot tub bath. That's awesome. Perfect for a, a relaxing, I mean, I know, I, after taking care of it. <laughs> Once you're, we're done taking care of this house, we're gonna need something like that. So there's three fly strips in this closet and I believe that's a litter box with poop in it still. So, you know, I don't take care of cats. I don't have cats. Um, none of the owners have cats, but we'll be changing litter boxes. That's lovely, right? And again, they left a bunch of, they shaved. It's like they shaved before they moved out. Like, I'm gonna get my fresh shave real fast and then I'll go. <laughs> like every, in another video we talked about it, every house that happens with, like almost every time somebody does this to a house, they shave in the sink and they leave the hair. I don't know what it is with people, but they just love doing it. And here's the, oh my god. You freaking kidding me? So that's disgusting. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna mess with it. Um, but that looks disgusting. Um, I feel bad for whoever has to clean that up. You got a nice view while you're uh, going to the bathroom here, though. Nice, see the nice outside. Let's see what the shower looks like. Honestly, not that bad. Um, I've seen worse, but it could be better. 
But you can see up here, they really didn't do much to take care of that light. It's kind of starting to corrode and turn green. So that's a, this is a really nice bathroom and I stepped right over this, but this tiling is messed up. They just kind of broke that and left it. And this is thick tile, it's not the cheap stuff. So that's not gonna be fun to replace and they may even have to do the whole floor because I don't know if they're gonna be able to find matching tile. Just something to think about. Some more junk they left. A closet here. And here's a room that they stripped the carpet out of and left just like that. That's ridiculous. I hope nobody was staying in this room. That's a pretty little uh, coffee maker toaster oven up there. Not really sure what that is, but it's cute. <laughs> nice mint green color. You got cool, you got a nice view back here as well. But really, I just wanted to key in that the floor just, there's no carpet, they ripped all the carpet out. And here's another staircase upstairs and another Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Seeing a lot of those laying around. And we're back to the washroom here. So we're gonna go check out that little room in the kitchen before we go upstairs. Oh my God, <laughs> that would be why. All right, so this is that door I tried to open and now you see why I couldn't open it. There's a water cooler in here. There's some food on the shelves in here. It looks like they're using this as like a food pantry. Oh, it smells so so bad in there. There's, there's trash bags in there that have fly strips in on it. There's cardboard on cardboard. There's stacks of trash bags. This is disgusting. Like, whoever did this is just, I don't, I have, I have no words. But something else that, positive, look at that. Look at this little, there's like etching on this wood of a, like a barn, a little house. Um, this is really, it's really neat. But you know, they have to trash it like this because that's what people do. I want to check out, see if they left a whole bunch of stuff in the fridge because that's something else I've noticed people do. And of course, this is disgusting. So that's just loose cheese in there. Oh, it stinks. Uh, milk cap, there's like a, a bunch of milk caps. The trays at the bottom are disgusting as well. That's, this is bad. The freezer just has loose food in there. I would not want to be eating out of that fridge. So we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs. Again, this is a really wide staircase. My hands can almost reach all the way out. <clears throat> just standing in the middle. Oh my god, this is nice. Alright, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go left first. Ooh, I already see. I love the color of this room. I mean, I, I, for a landlord, it's not something you, you, you don't want a room like this, but this is a beautiful color. I love teal and blue, and this person felt the same. They left behind a little navy ship. It's a nice little closet or changing room. Another closet here. Again, nice view outside. <laughs> Happy girls are the prettiest. What's over here? Oh my god, there's another level. So we'll make our way up there. <laughs> so here's a, here's a bedroom. So this looks like a, little, a pretty small room, so it's probably more of a kid's bedroom. And this room doesn't look too bad. I mean, they still left a bunch of stuff. Let me show you the floor here. Still up some stuff all over the floor. Nice view of outside. And pro ooh, this has got to be the master suite. But this is a really nice, huge bedroom, guys. I mean, it wraps. Let's go. Let's see how far it goes over here. It has its own bathroom. A huge walk-in closet that is almost the size of a that one bedroom. They left behind a safe with the door ripped off. Lots of pennies. More clothes. There's a Ruger knife box. Um, some other stuff up here in the closet. So we'll check out the bathroom now. So cool, they left this toilet. Just as disgusting. We'll try and stay away from it so I can't drop my phone in there. So they left a bunch of stuff up here. This bathtub looks pretty okay. Um, still doesn't look the, like they cleaned much. So that's 
that's the one side. If I turn left, I'm back at the front at the steps. So we'll go through here. There's another bathroom. This is a nice uh, dual vanity here. Nice that they left all their showering supplies so I can hop right in and shower if I wanted to. <laughs> and uh, what's the scale? Toilet seats. And again, they left this toilet disgusting. Because why wouldn't they? Some more child stuff left behind. This looks like a cool little kid's hangout room. They got an old couch in here, an old uh, recliner. You can tell it's pretty beat up. That pretty color wall again. You can see how little they cleaned. These are all dead bodies of bees. All dead bees. That's delicious, right? They left air conditioner in the window. A huge TV, which will not be fun to remove because those TVs are not light. Then this is the staircase to downstairs, so that must be the other staircase I saw. So let's check out the upstairs now. The, the top floor, I believe. I don't think there's any more floors above that. <laughs> so here's the attic. There's a baby gate here. There's some workout equipment. So looks like they vape. <laughs> With all this e-liquid stuff, a little crawl space here, and there is some stuff in the crawl space. Not really sure what it is. Didn't bring my flashlight, so. Some more Chipotle trash. Looks like they were fans of Chipotle as well. So th this room looks pretty sad, honestly. There's just a mattress on the floor in here. Um, our old TV they left behind. There's one of these room dividers. It's behind this crawl space. Looks like some more stuff too. There's some chicken food up here. So hopefully they weren't feeding chickens up here. That's all I can really say. There's a, that's a big bag of chicken food. So I pray that I don't find dead chickens somewhere up here. But again, they had a 55 inch curved uh, UHD TV, so uh, they, they could afford upgrades like that, but they couldn't afford to take care of the house. So that's pretty, pretty sad, but unfortunately you see that. So I'll take you out back and uh, we'll check out the outside. All right, so we are right back outside. You guys should recognize where we are a little bit. And we're going to head back towards the barns to see what all is back here. We saw the whole house. So we saw how uh, much stuff they left behind how trash they left it. Um, I, I can't believe somebody would wanna, like, first of all, abandon their stuff, abandon their kids' stuff, trash a house that, like, is this nice? I, I would feel like I'm living in a mansion in a house like this. I mean, I, I've lived in cheap houses my whole life, but still, it's ridiculous. So, uh, I'm not sure if they, any of these barns are open, so we'll see if that's happening. I don't like to call these barns uh, oversized birdhouse. And it's because you guys can see how much bird crap is all over here. Every single thing in this barn is covered in bird crap. So birds have just been hanging out in here willy nilly because they've left this, they've left, what happened is they left this barn door or this garage door barn open, whatever this, what you want to call it. They left this open and when they did that, it's pretty much just ushered every bird around here to make nests up in the rafters. So you can see even the rafters are covered in bird poop, like, and you can see where all their nests are up here in those rafters. And I'm gonna leave because there's a bird trying to get out. It's freaking me out. <laughs> so, that's one barn. And again, you guys can see more damage here. There's a huge wasp nest there. I'm gonna avoid that <laughs> got some farming equipment i think that's a top topsoil screener we got a shipping container there's a barn on the other side of it you see where there's plenty of room for businesses and stuff to run out here so, i don't know if you guys saw that there's a bird just flew out of here point you towards the sky so you can see all the birds leaving hey a bird snare some of the birds out of here before i walk in i'm getting bombarded so you guys can see the same exact thing happen here. Show you the rafters. 
There's bees nests up there too. And I'm not gonna bother going in there. It's cause I'm sure it's home for many birds. I'll show you guys this beautiful area real quick. And see, they're actually working on the farm, on the fields over there. But this is somewhere I could come, I could put a chair at right here and just stare at this field for hours probably. Just relax and stare into the field. Alrighty, so uh, I finally made it to the back of the property here. You guys can see the house up there. I'm right next to the last barn over here. But I wanted to show you this big trash pile they have back here. So I don't know how long they've been doing it. And it's something I've... After talking to a couple of friends, I'm realizing it's something a lot of places do, a lot of people do and have been doing. It's a generational thing, I think. People have property and they've had property for so many years. So they don't, they think it's their property for the rest of their lives. They don't, they're not going to, they're not planning on moving out. So they just dump everything into the back and then we'll get to it one day. And then they never get to it. And then they sell the house or their kids take over the house and the next person gets the house. And all this, <laughs> that people go to the back of the property and they find all this trash that was just abandoned. Um, some of my friends just got done cleaning out the back of their field doing the same thing. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Here's some tires right there. And you, that's nothing. This, this is the trash. This is what I'm really, really referring to here. Huge amount of trash. I'm not really, there, that's, so that's a couch there. There's a couple of mattresses, a box spring, a chair. Ooh, I can hear all the animals living in there. Some crickets. Uh, I'm sure some snakes are in there wood there's couches there's multiple couches you can tell they've been burning mattresses because there's springs back here so here's a the last barn that was over to the right of the other barn right next to that shipping container and i didn't see this but there's a dog house or a rabbit house or some some house of some kind could have been from the previous owners or this owner. And again, this is, I'm just gonna give you a side profile of the property. That's the farthest back barn. <clears throat> there's a barn here, a uh, shipping container. And on the other side, there's another barn. Then you see the house up there, silo and a long driveway. And here's the inside of that last, that one barn I just showed you. See, they left some stuff behind, not a whole lot, but Cemented ground. It's not just dirt floor. So that's a, this is another garage, pretty much. Uh, nice little workshop, whatever. Definitely a way to make money out of here. And I'm not sure I want to try checking in here. So I did open the door. There's nothing in there. <laughs> just empty. Big old shipping container. Nothing but a uh, home for bugs, probably. Just another storage space. And I just saw a bee fly out of there, so very obvious there were bugs living in there. So I almost forgot to show you. So you guys can see that's that's the house. <laughs> There's my car. That's the house. I'm already this far away. And as I was pulling away, I forgot that this property also had a little hidden location. And I gotta tell you, this this I would I would love this as a kid. I am a huge I'm I'm a huge techie. And if anybody who has follows me or follows this channel, you'll know. I love technology. I'm a tech guy, but I also love the outdoors. I love being outside. I love exploring nature. <laughs> I would love to just pack up, get an RV and go travel through the national parks. But unfortunately, money doesn't grow on trees and I can't pull money off of a tree. But you guys can see a couple of little hidden structures here. There's like a pole up there. There's like a hook up there. I wonder what that could be. There's like a little stand right there. It could be a, not sure. Let's go see. Another way out over there. There is a dock down here with a pond. Now this is freaking awesome. So I really can't get to it because there's a tree, but I'm gonna try. Now pray I don't collapse this because I'm not sure if, how well it's been taken care of. This is a cool, there's a, this tree actually has these little berries on it. So let's see how I can get through here. All right, it's kind of pushed my way through. So this is a beautiful little pond on the property. Again, it could probably use some upkeep. <laughs> Doesn't look like much has been done with it. Uh, probably more natural. I'm not sure if it's safe to swim or what, what have you. The boards on the dock are a little, little not trustworthy. I can stand on it but i wouldn't want to have a whole party here but this is this would be awesome incredible could you believe being out here with you a couple of your buddies 
fishing or drinking a beer, watching the sun, watching fireworks. There's a million things you could do out here. This is incredible. And they just let it rot away like this. Now, if somebody's out there, they have, they're sitting on a couple million bucks, they have a house <laughs> you want somebody to move into, pick me, pick me, pick me. I will be the one. I will be the one to come in, take care of that house, treat it better than anybody else would. Um, I can't, I can't, can't promise I'll be able to afford it, but if you're paying for it, I'll take care of it. I'll live in it and I'll do it. So, um, I'm not a carpenter by any means, but I would become one just to take care of a house like this. So this is a beautiful, beautiful location. Once again, trashed. Cause you can't, you wouldn't even know this was here. If you weren't being a little more explorative. Give you guys another shot of it from back here. So you would never know there's a pond down there. And in case you were looking for it, you probably wouldn't even find the trail. And I just wanted to do one last thing and show you guys the driveway. So I mounted you to the front of my car and hopefully you don't have too much of a rocky drive because they have not been filling in the holes in their driveway so there's a bunch of potholes so you think you want to be a landlord think again 